Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie, a career counselor at Citrus College. Welcome to Career Chats, brought to you by the Career and Transfer Center. So in this episode today, we're going to talk about micro internships. So micro internships, right? Many students know the benefits of an internship. They provide students with practical experience to apply what they've learned in the classroom. Internships also give students an opportunity to network, you know, find out firsthand what a particular field is like as opposed to just hearing about it. And they also let students test out whether that type of position is really something they want to do. When you're exploring career options, finding ways to test out different industries or even to get your foot in the door can be really intimidating and challenging, especially when you don't have prior experience. I think we all tend to see on job applications or um, when you're looking to apply for a job that they're looking for what related experience and that could be frustrating. I mean, how can you land that job or get an interview if they won't even give you a chance to get that experience? That's where micro internships can help. So these are short term paid professional projects that are open to all Citrus students, college students for that matter, and recent graduates of US institutions. Yes, that's all you need to do is be a college student. So from working directly with an entrepreneur to supporting a large enterprise, you'll have the opportunity to explore different roles, different company cultures in a way that fits your schedule. So before we dive in further, let's go over the basics. Again, what is a micro internship exactly? So micro internships are, again, like I said, project based positions that involve a much smaller time commitment than the traditional internship. Positions typically center on short-term projects requiring anywhere from like say 5 to 40 hours of work that would be given to a new hire or an intern um, and students receive a fixed fee for their work. So most project deadlines range from a week to a month. So this isn't long-term employment here. It's very short. That's why it's called micro internships and these can include sales, lead generation, content development, data entry, you name it just for a few examples. And it's a wonderful opportunity for students to gain important real world experience and get paid at the same time. So did you know that micro internships aren't really a new concept? In fact, micro internships have been around for a few years, but I'd say the pandemic has really moved it to the forefront of career issues as the vast majority of projects are now completed remotely. So in some ways, the silver lining is, you know, that it's pretty awesome and convenient, right? Um, so you, what this means is as a Citrus student can do a couple micro internships during your time at this college um, and it could be whether you know it's with an employer on the west coast or on the east coast um, while you're taking classes possibly while you're working part-time padding your resume gaining valuable experience and then learning if you actually do like the fields you're interested in in many ways i think it's low stakes high reward if you ask me um, and it's definitely the wave of the future uh, micro internships also provide time and geographic flexibility, which is really important for some students who may lack transportation or have problems fitting a traditional internship into their academic schedules. And then the short term nature of micro internships allows students to explore a wide variety of potential career directions by executing multiple kinds of projects. So how do you go about doing this? So Parker Dewey, for example, and other micro internship sites are also called gig sites. Wait, what? What's a gig economy? So a gig economy is a labor market that relies heavily on temporary or part time positions filled by independent contractors, kind of like you and freelancers rather than full time permanent employees. So think kind of like side hustle, right? Um, a lot of people do this with ride sharing apps. If you work for, say, Uber or selling things online like eBay or food delivery or personal shopping, etc. Sound good? Where do you go again? Okay, so as I said, nationally, a company called Parker Dewey has come to the forefront as a clearinghouse for micro internships. The company maintains a website um, which students you could register and create accounts. Uh, the employer then posts positions on the website and pays a rate. So when students complete a micro internship, payment comes from Parker Dewey which keeps a small fee from the employer. Every project on Parker Dewey is paid a what they call a fair per project rate. So what you see is what you will actually earn upon completion of that internship. 
Most importantly, Parker Dewey protects you as you never have to negotiate pay, send an invoice, or create a contract. All of this, all those details, are managed behind the scenes on their platform. So how does that micro-internship work? So again, you can just create an account. Um, I like Parker Dewey in particular. It takes about five minutes to create it. You can browse the paid projects by company, by project type, and then once you apply, um, you could then do your short-term gig. So again, just to run down overall the benefits of micro-internships, there's lots of reasons, right? But one, Signing up is pretty fast and it's definitely free. Um, number two, right? You'll work on paid projects. It requires only a short time commitment, anywhere between five to 40 hours within a week to a month. Number three, explore different career paths and work on really cool, interesting assignments. Then there's four. You can demonstrate your abilities to potential employers and apply what you're learning into the classroom. And finally, number five, You'll definitely build your professional resume, portfolio, you'll meet a bunch of people, gain experience, and build that network. The only considerations would be possibly for international students. Um, just as a side note, you'd have to be approved for what they call OPT. Um, and then for possibly any undocumented students, you have to have DACA to participate. Uh, so if you have questions or concerns about Anything that has to do with micro internships, find your way to the Career Center and connect with one of us career counselors so we can fill you in on more information about it. Thanks for tuning in.